folks. It is Friday morning, 7.37, enhancing the audio. The Electra, the moon's still out. Minus 37 degrees here on Friday. I want to say a huge hello to all the new subscribers. I really wanted to get a video out today, uh, but I have to rush. Actually, I have dress clothes underneath the hoodie today, folks. Uh, I can't say anything about what I'm doing until I uh, will be doing a live stream. Uh, thank you, 37. <laughs> We're, be doing, we're going to be doing a live stream uh, Mountain Time, 2 p.m. on Sunday. Um, but we've got some big news coming up uh, that affects the Plane Savers team. Uh, but that means i got to spend most of my day doing meetings and a uh, whole bunch of stuff. So, but I want to get you guys an episode. So, hey, we're going to learn some history, folks. I'm excited. I'm freezing. The electra's going out. Woo, let's go inside, warm up, and get this episode started. Welcome to season two, episode 34 of Plane Savers. Welcome everybody, back inside, nice and warm. Fokker frame, uh, you can see it's coming along the, pretty good, the paint's dripping. Um, Chucky's gonna hit it, I got him some more supplies here. He's gonna hit it right now. The problem is though, folks, it is that cold weather is really put a hamper on everything. We're not used to having this much amount of cold weather this early in the year. This is normally February weather. Sure, a couple of days here or there, but it's been like minus 35 to minus 37 all week and it doesn't show any signs of letting up. Okay, so let's take this opportunity uh, to learn more about some Fokkers. Uh, of course, we know we got our uh, triplane here, the triplane Fokker, but there's actually a tri-engine Fokker, which I find just absolutely amazing. Last night, I put together a little history with help from a buddy of mine who's got some footage. Let's go check out what a three-engine Fokker is. This is very cool. The Fokker F7 is a three-engine high-wing passenger transport aircraft. It could carry up to eight passengers in its relatively massive fuselage for the time. It first flew on November 24th, 1924. The aircraft was a choice of many early airlines, both in Europe and the Americas. It also dominated the American market in the late 1920s. The aircraft is 47.9 feet long with a wingspan of 71.2 feet, and it stands at a height of 12.8 feet on wheels. It was powered by three 220 horsepower Wright J5 Whirlwind radial engines. The wing on this Fokker is 721 feet. Its empty weight is 6,724 pounds and has a gross weight of 11,464 pounds. This very aircraft is actually a replica made for the Hollywood movie Amelia, and it turns out to be one famous Fokker. The real friendship registration November X-ray 4204 flew on November 18, 1928. Amelia Earhart was a passenger on board and she became the first woman to cross the Atlantic Ocean by air. The orange and gold float equipped three engine monoplane departed from Newfoundland, Canada and arrived on the southwest coast of Wales 20 hours and 40 minutes later. The ultimate fate of the real Fokker is uncertain. Sources indicate that it was removed from service and salvaged for parts after June 1932. Other sources indicate it was destroyed by an incident or fire in September 1934. But you are welcome to see this movie star Fokker anytime. It's at the Canadian Bush Plain Heritage Centre in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, Canada. Check out their website, bushplain.com. Big thank you to my buddy Gregory McDonald. Uh, who's actually the keyboardist in the band Sloan. And fun fact, Sloan actually has a song in the first season of Ice Pilots, the last episode, Flying High Again. It was like the, the, the goodbye song of the season. So Sloan, big, iconic Canadian uh, band. Follow Gregory on Instagram to see him travel the world and play amazing shows. Thank you, Gregory. He was in Sault Ste. Marie, got that footage for us. In fact, he sent me a picture of the aircraft and I'm like, oh my God, I need, can you shoot some video? So he shot some video for us. Thank you very much. Now let's get to why there's a rat on today's uh, title card. And that's because uh, the hangar rats, our buddies, uh, sent us some, uh, some footage to learn more about uh, the Fokkers. It's, con it's confusing. So that big airplane was an F7. This is a DR1. 
what the heck does that even all mean? Uh, the boys are going to try to explain it best they can. They might actually make it worse. <laughs> let's check it out. Uh, let's go see the hangar rats right now and see what they have for us. Introduce us. Hey, how's it going? This is the Hangar Rats. I'm Bill. I'm Larry. And we're doing, tonight we're doing the Rats Facts. About what? Pokers. Pokers? <laughs> <laughs> Why are we talking about pokers? Who cares you about pokers? You can't say that. Did you, remember, you can't say stuff like that. I was raised in Texas. You can say anything you want to in Texas. Oh, y'all. Y'all. So we're going to talk about pokers. pokers. Why are we talking about pokers? Uh, because Mikey and Stella are up in the Great White North. Mikey and who? Mikey and Benjamin and... You mean plane savers? Plane savers! Okay. <laughs> uh, they're up in the Great White North doing their thing. Actually, Mikey's not doing a whole lot. You notice that? He runs around with the camera a lot. He's management. Like you. <laughs> we have people. So, <laughs> anyway, Benjamin and William are back there and they Stella, are. they're doing the thing and they're, they've got it. But anyway, they have a DR1 that they're working on and we thought tonight we'll talk to you about why it's called a DR1. Do you know why it's called a DR1? Was well, it a big D, big R1, big R, big one, I don't, I don't big little D? It's not really important to Is it like a doctor? What, I mean, what's the deal? Is it a doctor's plane? Could That'd be a Bonanza probably. It, that would have Well, been actually today it's a Cirrus. Today it's a Cirrus, yes. Yeah, exactly. So, but that's, yeah, neither here nor there. Um, so anyway, they call it a DR1 because it is a three, wing airplane. So how do you get to a three wing airplane with, no, 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 a, no, no, with no. a D? Because a what D. is the number for, what is the word for three? Three. In German. <laughs> ah, is uh, dry. D-R-E-I. Okay. Dry. dry. So that's where it comes from. D-R. Big D, little r, period. One. Not big D, big R, one. It's big D, little r, period. And then a one. one. All right. That's the way the Germans did it, the Idflieg, which was the inspector of aircraft back in World War One. So they came out with this new system. A new system? Just for World War One? Well, I think this has kind of been they like hadn't the first, done, they hadn't done first set warfare. of warplanes. Yeah, first set of so warplanes? they were winging it, All right. uh, no pun intended. But yeah, they were making it up, which is actually a pretty good system. Except what, what they call the single wing, the monoplanes with one wing. I think they be, had a few of those. Well, that would make sense, so you call it an Eindecker, so it was an E. Y and E. Because e. you got D and then E. So. Right, so a single wing airplane comes after the two, the two? three wing airplane, <laughs> which okay. is Eindecker. E I N is one. So okay. one decker, which is one level or one deck, one layer of wing. Then you had the dry decker, which is D R, but then you had the no, D. Those three. So you three. Had that was three. E, Eindecker. Eindecker, dry decker. So One in the middle had, was doppel-decker, doppel double-decker, which would have been a D, not a DR, a D. What's the German word for two? Zwei. So why wasn't it? Because that's at the other end of the alphabet, and that makes no sense. They weren't up to there, so they called it a doppel, which is double, instead of two. See, that's why they that call... That makes no sense. Sure it does, because no, a triplane, which is a triple wing, is called a three-winger. Why wouldn't you call a bi-wing a two-wing? Because it's at the far end of the alphabet, you can't do that. That doesn't make. You have to start at the left. So it's it's Eindecker, I, E, E, Doppeldecker, D, D, Drydecker, DR. That doesn't make sense. But yeah, that was the thing. Is more wings are better. Except more wings give you. Well, we're going to talk about I that think, another time. I think we're going to talk about. But I think the three wing fighters was a fad. Yes. The United States might have. Um, well. The, yeah, I think the U.S. Sopwith actually made had, some. Sopwith Sopwith had, had one. one. I think they might have made the first one, but I think it was a fad because after there were, the eight, 1918, I think they kind of went away. We'll talk yeah. about that on another one, about whether it was a good airplane or not. We'll let, we'll let you, uh, we'll, we'll keep the mystery alive. So the D was a, was a biplane doppeldecker. Okay. The DR, little r, period, one. Was there a DR2? No, because they only built 300 of them, and then they put a fork in it. So it must not have been not that good. popular. No, because the Fokker D7, which was the so plane. That was a D. That was a D. And then they had a 1, D1. Yeah. And then a D2. Yeah. 
three, four, five, four, six. five, six. Yeah, so there was they a series. They were to of, eight, nine, yeah. in World War One, and some of them probably never never saw production. Okay. And then they had the D eight, the Fokker D seven, Fokker D eight, which makes sense because that had one wing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> because everybody was getting confused. Hard to believe. <laughs> so they said, okay, if it's a fighter, if it's a fighter, we're just going to call it a D. Don't care how many wings you got. It's just a D. This was a system. The system was a moving target. No chaos. In I don't know the German you. words for that, but it was a moving... Oh, it was definitely uh, chaos. Uh, and plus, probably no, all... there can be no chaos in they German. They probably had a very large board that kept getting bombed, and they kept losing okay. their place. All right. Yeah, because they weren't good. So, out. the D8, which should have really been an E... Should have been, yes. A... Yeah, very confusing. Comes right after the D7. And so, yeah, you might have a Fokker D3. You could have a Halberstadt D3. You could have a... Just like our F22s, F35s, F5s. Kind of. Yeah, completely different, but kind of, yes. Yeah. So, it, but everybody... But I'm sure they kept this whole D system... Yeah. And there was some blue-haired lady, right? there was some blue-haired lady with a binder that had all this stuff written down. And they're still doing that today? Not so much. They, they, no, they do. There's, no. Uh, there's actually, I believe, at, at, uh, in the... I can't believe it. I mean, it's had such a organized system in the beginning that they didn't carry it Well, off. they lost. They lost, because they, oh. yeah, the, the whole... Well, the that doesn't, I mean, it could still be an excellent system, and they just kind of kept it. They lost. Okay. Okay. Losers. Okay. All right. It was not a good system. All right. Yeah. So, hey, right. that was a deal. So, yeah, 1918, boom, armistice, it was over. Fokker bugged out, went to uh, back to uh, his hometown, took a bunch of stuff with him. DR1. DR1. The only one. The only one. 320, I think, were made. Think and then two, two F1s. Oh, we didn't talk about that. Yeah, the two they prototype had Fs. It. Well, an F was, an F was originally, I believe, a triplane, armed triplane, and then they changed it to, that's right, the system changed. They changed <laughs> it to a DR. Okay. <laughs> Tridecker. So, because I guess they were getting confused. Okay, so, <clears throat> so it was called the dry decker. It but, was, but it had three wings. Well, it had three wings, right? Three wings. What? They had this. That's not what a prop is that? Well, it's kind of a wing. It's mostly a wing, but not really a wing. It was a landing gear. Right. It was a, more of a fairing. So they tried to fair it in, even though it was four wings. It wasn't a fear decker, though, which would be an F. <laughs> no. A triplane was an F. They had F. They have F. They had did have F one and two. Right. See, that's so why because system, they had four wings. A, it wasn't a proper wing. Oh, okay. It was mostly a wing. In fact, the later aircraft, the later they actually made a two place after the war. They made a two place Fokker D seven where they put gas in that. In that. In that little wing. Down and then there. They pumped, yeah, they pumped it up with uh, air, up to the main tank. That's where I'd put gas. Well, they took the guns out and put a per person. Yeah, so that was a, yeah. a version of the Fokker D7. Uh, so that was it. So yeah, they they, uh, they actually had yeah they had gas and stuff like that. But yeah, it's a fairing, the fourth wing. So it's not a it's not a full wing. It's not a half a wing. Yeah. So it's well, just a fairing. The latest Plane Savers episode, they're working on the, on the landing thing. gear. Yeah. Yeah. There's got, I there's, think they're gonna. It's kind of busy down there. Yeah. They're but it's just a box. With There's bungees. some modifications on some things down there. I think they're gonna. They'll get it sorted. Get it sorted out. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of lumber in that little airplane. Not as much as <laughs> a lot of the other ones. Yeah, the other one because it had it had. Uh, well, we'll talk about. I think we talked about, we'll right? talk about. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about that in another episode of Rats Facts. Rats Facts. Hangar Rats for plane savers. For plane savers. Plane savers. So Mikey and Stella and the crew up there. Stay warm. Stay warm. Have fun. Yeah. Be safe. Build a good airplane. Yeah. I'm Bill. I'm Larry. Thank you, Hangar Rats. That was absolutely amazing. Uh, I learned some stuff there. It was very cool. Dr. Drydecker, uh, D. Dougal, uh, interesting stuff. We're going to have to ask Stella to, to maybe proof check some of those facts for us, but it's very entertaining. And some jabs in there, but uh, it's pretty good. So that's it, folks. It is just after 8.30 in the morning here on Friday, uh, and we got the video done. We accomplished what we needed to get done. Uh, this is amazing. So thank you. We'll be seeing you in the live stream. 
at uh, 2 p.m. Mountain Time on Sunday, same time as the last few weeks. Um, we'll probably do another commentary episode, so let me know in the comments below what episode would you like us to watch and commentate uh, some more behind the scenes, because you know sometimes episodes don't show everything. Uh, if you want to know more about a certain episode, just let me know in the comments what episode we should watch, and I can give you all the, the gory, glory, all the fun details of each one. So, uh, yeah, thank you for joining us this Friday. Hope you have an amazing weekend. Get your Christmas shopping done. Um, yeah, it's going to be uh, Christmas anytime now. I can't wait. So we see you guys in the next episode. You have fun wherever in the world you are. Be safe. Bye.